Welcome back. This is Victoria Swinney, Director of the Delaney Brown Library and Librarian for Nursing at Oklahoma City University, returning with a tutorial designed to follow up on the CINAHL Complete basic searching uh, to introduce you to some advanced search techniques which can be helpful when the initial search results in too many articles. The first option to consider is using quotation marks for phrases. This will limit the results to articles where the words are used together. You see several examples here, and we can see the results from the search we did in the first video by adding quotation marks around diabetes education. We move from about 3,500 articles to around 770. You'll notice on the left here by our current search that I still have the published dates 2016 to the present and research articles limits. You'll want to watch for that as you're doing searches. And you'll see the three search boxes so that I'm still in the advanced search. Um, however, there are more ways to limit which vary in effectiveness from one topic to another. Another of my favorite tools are the advanced search limits. For example, journal subset, which allows us to limit to just nursing journals, and age groups, which limits to the research including patients in that specific age group. To get to these limit weeks, we need to scroll down and under limit two, you will find a show more option. This will bring up the list of all of these advanced search options. I always like to remind people, don't do too many of these. You want to keep it to a very small number. I like to do one at a time. My favorite and most useful is the journal subset of nursing. You'll notice I'm scrolling down inside this search box to get to nursing. Then I have to scroll up on the right to get to search. And then I can do the search again. Now I'm down to 321 articles, but they're in nursing journals. Um, this should help meet the criteria for your assignments. Um, there are more limits available. Um, I mentioned age group is another particularly useful one. Uh, so for example, if I was looking at this diabetes education and I wanted to limit to the most typical um, juvenile onset diabetes education as that happens, I might limit to the age group of adolescents. So I can do that by going back to show more scrolling down again on the left hand side until I see the age groups then scro scrolling down within age groups to get to adolescent. I've got a search box at the bottom I can now use. And so now I've got 46 articles. That looks wonderful until you realize how many of these articles are international. The database is international so many of the articles are not US based. So if you're limited to US based articles you're going to have a problem. As I look through this list, I see number two says Chinese youth. Um, number four mentions a Brazilian camp. Um, so the number of those will make it hard sometimes to find enough that are related specifically to the United States. That brings us to another set of options that we can use um, that we can limit by adding some additional concepts. Um, for example, you'll see some examples here where we narrow it down to something more specific that sometimes can be, can address that, um, in, okay. sometimes it can address the international aspect. With this list, I'm going to try Hispanics or Blacks. By limiting to American minority groups or other things that you know or very American, you can get from a very long list to something that works well for just American. You'll notice this list is too short, there are only five, and if I look over here at my refine list, I realize I still have that adolescent on here. So I can take that off and get a few more, because even if you just need five articles, if you found five, that's probably not going to work this longer list is a much better choice. Before we leave the topic of narrowing searches, I want to point out another way to narrow a search. Sometimes you need to think of a different keyword. That is a more specific term. So if you were looking for diabetes complications, you might pick a specific complication like diabetic foot. 
or if you were wanting to write on immunizations, you might choose a specific immunization like the papilloma, papilloma virus vaccine. The next video will focus on what to try if you find too few articles. Also, if you need help, visit the nursing research guides from the library resources link in D2L or by going to libguides.okcu.edu nursing for additional tips and information on how to make an appointment with me.